Okay, so let me officially call the meeting to order. This is the meeting of the public meeting of the New Report Historical Commission for the 9th of September, 2021. I'll do a roll call of the media, of the members that are present, starting with um, Mr. Mark Sindrone. Uh, can you confirm with, uh, you're here, Mark, and we can hear you? What happened to Mark? Did he fall off? It appears that way, Chair. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. let, me, let me go through this, and, and he should uh, hopefully he'll rejoin us momentarily. Uh, Mr. Christopher Fay. I'm present. Oh, thank you. Joe Morgan. Here. Patricia Pecknick. Here. And the Chair, Glenn Richards, is also here. <clears throat> we also have uh, note taker Gretchen Joy and Caitlin Sullivan of the Planning uh, Department. And um, let's give a couple of Hopefully, Mr. Syndrome will be right back with us. Uh, Caitlin, in case I don't notice, would let me know if you see him join back in? Yeah. Uh, but even without Mr. Syndrome, we do have a quorum, so we can uh, continue and conduct business legally. There are no public hearings planned for tonight, so I'll skip that explanation, save a little time. We can all uh, get home a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, the official, the first order of official business for tonight is a request for a continuation of a matter of 22-24 Olive Street. Uh, the applicant has requested we continue that. So is there a motion to continue that matter to the 23rd of September, 2021? I make Mr. that motion. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I make so, that motion to continue that. Okay, thanks, Patricia. Do you want to second it, Joe? Yes, I second it. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we'll go to the roll. Uh, the, the, we'll skip over Mark Christopher Fay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Joe Morgan. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Patricia Picknick. Yes. <clears throat> and the chair is yes. So we will continue that. I'll have a quick word on that later on in the meeting, but for now, we'll just move on. Uh, on the one other matter of general business, uh, it's the, the Last meeting, we talked about this pre-approval letter from the Mass Historical Commission for 342 Merrimack Street. I explained what that was about uh, two weeks ago, so I won't <clears throat> review that yet again. I believe Ben Taylor is here tonight on behalf of the applicant to speak. So uh, will you, let's see, you are, your talking is enabled, Mr. Taylor. So if you would like to uh, talk to the, present something to commission, you may please go ahead. Sure. Um, can you hear me all right? Yes, we can. And I should say, uh, Mr. Taylor, that we have, the commission has had a chance to uh, review the, uh, uh, this. I assume that this version is the one that the Mass Historical Commission has given their uh, tentative approval to. So we, we, we have uh, on the board taken a look at it. So yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, great. So um, just for the record, uh, Ben Taylor, 30 Green Street, Mead Town and Costa, uh, covering for Attorney Mead tonight, who had a scheduling conflict. Um, however, I was very involved in the process of drafting this uh, document and incorporating um, each of the changes from the Massachusetts Historical Commission uh, with each new draft. So um, I'm just going to give a brief summary of what's happened between um, October 2020, when you initially approved the draft, um, and then uh, how we've gotten from there to the version that's in front of you tonight. Um, firstly, I just want to point out that any and all of the changes from that 2020 version um, to what you have in front of you tonight has all come from M MHC. Um, nothing's been changed or added to this that wasn't at their request. Um, so just a few of the main changes you'll see. Um, we're in the beginning, you know, in the, in the whereas clauses. Um, MHC worked closely with Attorney Mead to um, bring more detail and clarity to uh, who the grantors are here and also the um, title references to the property. Um, you also see that there's a much more thorough architectural description of the building and property. Um, so thank you to David Keary, uh, who provided the architectural plans on this, who again worked closely with Michael Steinitz of MHC uh, to really get that to um, a much more uh, descriptive place. Uh, and then some things that didn't change, um, but, but are really essential here. 
um, it, it is the fact that it's a, a perpetual restriction. Um, as it's being approved by the state, um, you know, state law under Chapter 184 requires that um, the state has to approve any perpetual restriction. So um, you see that word used throughout the document, actually paragraph 19 um, it is the main point on that. Um, it says it will run with the land, it will be binding on any and all successors and assigns of the grantors. Um, the existing mortgagee on the property has agreed to sign a mortgage subordination, uh, which actually has been incorporated into this document as an exhibit. Um, they're going to sign and, and fill out that uh, form once the city is done approving this document. Um, let's see, and another thing that's changed is the form B, uh, that's exhibit E, has been finalized. Again, a thank you to Eric Dre, the historical consultant on this project, um, finalized that after um, the October 2020 draft. Um, something that hasn't changed are the approved plans and also the new report historical commission requirements. Um, those were as included in the special permit issued on this property and have remained in this document as Exhibit F. Um, I think um, I'm happy to address any other changes or, uh, and changes to this document or questions the commission may have. Um, I do have the three uh, feedback letters, if you will, from MHC, where they dictated what changes were needed. Um, and other than what I've already touched on, the other changes were largely you know, formatting, stylistic, word choice mm -hmm. changes, um, things like that. Uh, but none really to the substance, you know, or, or if there are places where like there are cross cross references to various paragraphs um, where the numbering changes, you know, going through and cleaning those up. Right. Um, so yeah, so just tonight, um, you know, requesting two things that the commission approve this document and that uh, would authorize the chair to sign on its behalf. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Taylor. Does, does anyone on the board have a question or comment for Mr. Taylor? to see if there's any hands or anything, not seeing any. I know, uh, speaking for myself, uh, I don't. Uh, what you've said just now, uh, Mr. Taylor, is consistent with what I saw the you know, in terms of the changes that were made. And I did, uh, the thing I pay particular attention to were the things that the commission had worked out with the applicant, you know, back last year. And I was, um, I didn't see any problem with, with any of that. So uh, it all looked pretty good. Uh, last call for any questions or comment from the board. If there are none, we could have a motion to authorize the chair to sign for uh, on behalf of the NHC for approval. Someone like to make that motion? I'll make that motion, Chris Fay. Okay, that, thank you, Mr. Fay. Uh, we authorize the chair to uh, sign the document. Okay, thanks, That's Chris. We're going to sign the document. Okay. Very good. Is there a second? Seconded. This is Joe. Okay. Thank you, Joe. I'll go around and I see uh, Mark, uh, but I believe you, I see, so you came back, you were dropped off and then returned. And I think you returned in time to hear this presentation. Uh, am, am I correct? I did indeed. I'm sorry. I'm in a fairly unstable connection, but uh, I did hear the whole presentation. I have no questions. And Second okay, so, I uh, agree. Yes. Okay, so uh, the yes vote. Thank you, uh, Mark. Uh, Christopher Fay? Yes. Thank you. Joe Morgan? Yes. Thank you. Patricia Pecknick? Yes. Thank you. And the chair is yes. So, so very good. I'll, I'll work with Caitlin, um, uh, Ben, to uh, get that signed off. And I know it's got to uh, forget what the exact details are. It but I know it'll need to be approved by the city council and the mayor and all that. And then it goes to the for final sign off. Uh, I believe after, after all that's done back to MHC for their final approval, but I don't anticipate any changes. So since they've you know pre-approved it, that should, uh, shouldn't be a problem. So thanks for coming in tonight and, um, and thanks for your work on this. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Okay. Okay, the only other thing is a real brief update from the chair. It refers back to our the first matter this morning. Um, we did it. We voted a, or we moved a con con continuance uh, using air quotes there for the first time tonight. I just want to explain that technically a continuance is not really legally required because uh, that matter, ca matter 
came before the board. We had a public hearing. The board made its decision, which was that the structure was historically significant and preferably preserved, and that kicked off the one-year demolition delay. So that opened and closed that particular matter. Uh, the applicant can return at any time to present alternative plans, trying to get an approval to get out to be, get out from the one-year delay, uh, even if they don't officially request a continuance. You know, they have as a, I think it's a, a kind of a courtesy both ways for, for us to know that they're still interested and they're working on revised plans and for them to know that, okay, you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll you know, keep it on the back burner, so to speak. But technically, uh, it's, it's it, any new plan submitted would be a new matter. So that also means that since that matter, that the decision on that matter was made back in August, any member of this board, even if they were not present at that meeting, they're not disqualified from voting on any new plans, even if you didn't listen to uh, the recording and, and all of that. That was something that I frankly was confused about that have been, uh, that's been clarified uh, by Andy Port and others. So, so you know, it's, it's considered new business, so to speak, and not part of the original decision. So I just wanted to clarify that. And um, I don't know, did Andy ever join, Caitlin? I don't see him up there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, I, I don't gonna, see him. Okay. Yeah. No. So I was going to ask if him, but based on are you, I think, involved in those discussions, Caitlin. So uh, is what I just said consistent with your understanding as well? Yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, then the only other things we need to do tonight is there were the minutes from September 9th. Uh, we need to approve those or whether without any uh, corrections. I didn't see any uh, problem with those. In fact, uh, our question did a good job of capturing some of that uh, rather lengthy discussion on the Winter Street. So is there a motion to approve the minutes of September 9th? Somebody. So moved. Okay, Mark, that was you, right? Yes. Okay, is there a second? I'll second that, Chris. Okay, thank you, Chris. Okay, uh, yes or no on that, uh, Mr. Syndrome? Yes. Okay, thank you, Mr. Fay. Yes. Thank you, Joe Morgan? Yes. Okay, and uh, Patricia? Yes. Thank you, and the chair is also yes. So those are passed and approved. And the only other thing is, an, is a motion to adjourn. Uh, is someone willing to step up to that challenge to make a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. Okay, that was Joe, thank you. Is there a second? Seconded. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Uh, okay, Mr. Syndrome. Mark, your vote on the adjournment. Did we, your video is looking very still. I wonder if we, your connection is kind of hiccuped. I right, will skip Joe for the, I mean, Mark for the moment. Uh, Christopher Fay? Yes. Okay, Joe Morgan? Yes. Patricia Picknick? Yes. Okay, and the chair is also yes. And, um, yeah, Mark's video is still frozen, but we have uh, four votes. That's that's a quorum, so we're still good to go, and uh, so we can adjourn the meeting. So thank you all. Uh, that was a, a new record, just under 15 minutes. <laughs> so thank you all for attending tonight. Appreciate your time as always, and Indeed. I wish you all a good evening. Congratulations, right. Chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Good. All right, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye.